The Hovercam Flex 11 software has several great video recording features to offer. Access them by clicking record on the camera controls toolbar. Camera record simply records your Hovercam's video feed. When you're recording, you'll see your recording time elapsed in red next to the record button. Audio will also be recorded from your selected microphone and your Hovercam has a mic built in. More on that towards the end of the video. To temporarily pause your recording, hit record, then pause. This is helpful if you need to change out content or just need a break, but you're not quite done recording your video. When you're ready to resume recording, hit record again, then resume. When you're done, hit record, then stop. A thumbnail still of your recording should show up in the camera controls toolbar. Click it to play your recorded video. Want to record something other than your document camera view? Screen record will start by recording your desktop and you can capture any windows or programs you click to. Audio is recorded too. On the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you'll see the screen recording toolbar with a couple of useful tools. Annotation opens up the annotation menu where you can freehand draw, highlight, Erase, Undo, Redo, and delete your annotations. To exit out of annotation mode, just hit the back button. Pause works the same as before. Hit it to temporarily pause your screen recording, then hit it again to resume recording. Picture in Picture opens up a small window with your webcam's view and captures that feed too. Great for recording mini lessons to send out later. Check out the View Options video for a refresher on Picture in Picture. The down arrow will minimize the screen recording toolbar, but continues recording your video. Pull the Minimize toolbar back up from the Windows 10 toolbar. Stop will end your screen recording, returning you back to Flex 11. Just like regular recordings, a thumbnail still of your screen recording should show up in the Camera Controls toolbar. Click it to play your screen recording. Screen recording with picture in picture is just what it sounds like. A shortcut button to record your desktop, but this time your picture in picture window is opened automatically. Time lapse takes several snapshots over longer periods of time and stitches them together in a shorter sped up video. Select your recording duration in hours, minutes, and seconds. Then select how quickly you want your video to be sped up. These two variables will determine how long the final time-lapse recording will be, and that's reflected below. You can also select the time-lapse frame rate. The higher the frame rate, the more smooth your video will be played back. But keep in mind, this also increases the file size. When you're ready, hit start, and your time-lapse will begin. When you're done, hit stop. Now you can check out your time lapse. Slow motion, on the other hand, is the opposite of time lapse. It captures a high frame rate video that will be played back in slow motion and look very smooth. To adjust recording settings, click Settings, then Recording, where you can change the file name. Output format, which is the file type. The resolution, which is the amount of pixels recorded. The quality, which is the amount of compression used or pixel data lost when the recording is saved. And the frame rate, which is how smooth the recordings will be played back. Just remember, your computer's processing power should be the deciding factor in how high you ramp up these settings. If your computer is struggling and you're seeing a lot of delay, it's best to keep your resolution at auto, quality at medium, and frame rate around 15 frames per second. Feel free to adjust these settings to find that happy medium between your computer's performance and the overall quality of your recordings. Also, please note that turning these settings up will increase the file size of your recordings. Lastly, you can select your microphone input under the main camera settings. Your Hovercam has a built-in microphone, but you can also switch to other microphones. Chances are, your computer has one too. 
And as always, before exiting the settings menu, make sure you click save.